So I'm just gonna to talk to you about one of the techniques I use to try and get people out of spectacles. Now, a lot of patients do want to be out of spectacles for distance, and that's understandable, and whether whatever lens we have, we usually try and set you for distance so you can walk around without your spectacles on, and you can drive without your spectacles on. That's the aim, we often get it pretty close. For your best possible vision, you often require a bit of spectacle correction, and that's nothing to worry about, but fundamentally, most of the time, you should be able to walk around without specs, and if you forget them at home, it won't be a big issue for you. But there are some people who really want to get spectacle independence. They are fed up with wearing reading spectacles. There are lots of different technologies out there and some of them work and some of them don't work. We went through a phase whereby we tried to use accommodating lenses and that means lenses that actually move physically inside the eye to give you near vision. They didn't work and so we abandoned them. I'm not an early adopter of lenses. I like it to be trialed out in other patients before I try it on my patients. And I'm a firm believer that I wouldn't put a lens into, into a patient's eye without having had it myself. And I'd be prepared to put any lens that I put into the patient myself. There's a reasonably new technique whereby we use something called an IC8 lens. We've all remember the pinhole cameras from school. When you look through a little pinhole, your vision sharpens up. And that is because we are letting one ray, ray of light through. Now this clever lens uses that technology by putting a pinhole into the lens itself. Often, I have patients where I check their vision, I put the pinhole down, and then they go, oh, that's great, can't I have that in my spectacles? Well, actually, this is what happens inside the eye. The IC8 lens has a ring of opacity in it. So it lets one ray, ray of light through, and that gives you great depth of focus, you can see close up. It also gives you reading vision. The downside is that it can affect your peripheral vision because if you imagine you're having a pinhole there and letting less light through, and that is why I don't put it into both eyes. There are studies that where people put it into both eyes and people seem to do well, but my concern is reduction of light energy because you've got this opaque barrier preventing the light getting through. So what I do do is a mix and max technique, mix and match technique, and that is where I put the IC8 into one eye that gives you your degree of reading vision and your intermediate vision, and then I put another lens into the other eye. Now the lens I put into the other eye is a matter for me and you to who actually discuss, because there are a lot of different implications for that. I could put a trifocal lens into the other eye designed to give you distance intermediate and near, an extended depth of focus lens in the other eye designed to give you distance and intermediate, or a bifocal lens in the other eye to give you distance and near vision. These are things that we discuss together and we pick the appropriate solution. I find the technique works really well. It's a bit weird because if you check your vision one eye at a time, it's a little bit strange because you get slightly different images. But remember, the whole point of doing this to you is to get you good binocular vision. And actually, you slow things down by checking with one eye at a time. So I always recommend that you stop looking one eye at a time, let your brain adapt to the new way of seeing, and hopefully we can get you good distance, intermediate, and near vision. It's all about quality of life and quality of visual life, and that's my aim in improving in you. But again, I've got a caveat it with saying there's no guarantees. Sometimes people do well, in fact, most times people do do well, but sometimes there are compromises to be had. In the end, me and you will make the, the, the decision together, and it's all about having a scope of techniques to use. I've got a postgraduate diploma in cataract and refractive surgery, so I'm specifically trained in these sort of issues. I'm specifically trained to give you the best possible vision that, that we can and use the most up-to-date technologies.